All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two. We're on it. No, you were saying? <laughs> <laughs> Times Square, go get it? Uh, no, so we were talking about the, as you brought the, about the fancy of the Times Square lighting or everything. Uh, the part of that she mentioned about the, to, is people are from the, our community or Nepali is being involved in that. So, uh, to marketing procedures, it went to advertisement or placement mm. of any. Mm. So you know her, Smriti. Yeah. She's a part of that campaign, you know. Yeah, what? She's, she does the, uh, if you want to place the advertisement in the Times Square billboard, right. that's the, Closest people we have, she can Nepali place can Nepali. Nepali people. So she holds this exactly. major stock of that uh, marketing. Eh? I don't know if, if Shmita really wants to, uh, <laughs> us to go ahead and promote it, but we have. So thank you very much. So that, <laughs> as you know her very well. Thank you very much. <laughs> now everybody knows. No, you were saying uh, this specific thing that you wanted to say? Sure. Yeah. Um, so I recently found out there is, uh, you know, as amazing as Times Square is, mm -hmm. um, there is a Nepali entrepreneur, Nepali American mm. uh, incredible, uh, amazing achievement. Wako technology actually lights up all the billboards on Times Square. Haina? And for me, you know, we'll come back to, you know, building the community that uh, that was one like crazy, uh, you know, uh, like point, mm -hmm. right? Where, uh, you know, successful Nepalis, they prefer to not be in the limelight because they don't need to, right? So they sort of, our mentors, our role models are hidden. So it's our job to put them out in the spotlight. Right? Of course. So um, it's amazing. So every time I go to Times Square, now I see it with a very different light. No, that's uh, that's fantastic to know. You know what Times Square got here, no? I mean, Yoda section ma left hand side section ma moile uh, Thailand ko pro pro promotion dehe ke hai na left hand side ma Thailand ko yeah. promotion bhai rahe na visit Thailand just to keep bhai rahe na right hand side ma moile ke re Bharatiya Pradhan Mantri Modi ko tyo yoda tyo ke video dekhe ni hai bahut recent day aako karan wala tyo promotion gareko tyan dekhe moile hai na sidha herdai su thul thula brands haru ko pani cha hai na sabai thuk cha ke hai na a day is gonna come when we are going to be able to go ahead and promote what we have back home, right there on that screen. A day is going to come. Of course. Very soon. Maybe that day is not today, but like you said, very, very soon. Right. Yep. And to make it possible, we have to work together. That's right. One of the reasons why I really wanted to go ahead and do podcasts in the US, especially go ahead and take what I have global, is so that I could have a conversation with friends like you. Right? So that we could figure out how we can make things like that happen. Right? Mm -hmm. Is it you dig that it is a Malay? Or exit him a time square mound ahead. Those words are already on the head when you take feeling, I know. As I own the head when you take feeling, he got a sock in Taya and said, How can we promote what we have back home Monday by down? Second, Malay's I live in here. And first of all, I want to get started by thanking both of you guys for making your time today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for inviting us. Uh, I, I can start with 1,000 different things. I'd like to go ahead and... Uh, time is definitely limited here. You know? I'd like to go ahead and start off by straight off... Uh, tell everybody just a gist about you. Let's start off with that. Just tell everybody just a gist about you. Sure. Um, I'm Preeti Pandey Adhikari. Um, based in New Jersey. I've uh, been living here for um, eight years. Um, and so uh, I lived all over the world. Uh, was in Kathmandu till my high school, but lived all over like Singapore... Canada and the U.S. Uh, worked in banking, nonprofits, yeah. um, tech startups, VCs, whatnot, and now I'm building the Great Nepali Diaspora, and, and that's why I'm here. Fantastic, fantastic, and you, the Great Nepali Diaspora was a specific as of when Amit shared. You know, okay, let's invite Preeti one day. You know, here is the first thing that hit me was the podcast. Okay? It connects directly right. with what we are trying to do. You know. Obviously, as a good din, ma, mala the specific number of bandhas in a koti zana Nepali Americans or unsa or thoba koza Nepali das bari di bani or America ma unsa bani ra. Do we have a some kind of a number? I think they say five hundred thousand. Five hundred thousand. Thousand. And and actually, you know, um, w w with uh, the Great Nepali Diaspora, we have this. We started this project. It's called the Diaspora Mapping Project. Mm. For exactly this reason, right? Even the government in Nepal or here, nobody really even knows exactly Koti Nepali. 
कहाँ छ कुन सिटीमा छ के गरिरा छ एन्ड हाउ डु वी लेट अल ओन द कन्भर्सेसन इन टर्म्स अफ हाउ डु वी लेभरेज द्याट एक्सपर्टिज सो फर अस आई थिंक बिल्डिङ वी कल इट टिजिएनडी इज अल अबाउट हाउ डु वी नट जस्ट कम्प्लेन तर हाउ डु वी लुक एट द ग्याप्स द्याट्स आउट देयर एन्ड हाउ डु वी फिल द्याट Wow, well, that no, we will definitely get more into that. Wow, that no, that's really awesome. That's really okay. awesome. Oh, my God, when did you come to uh, come to the uh, fantastic uh, place called uh, New York City? Of course, uh, <laughs> so I came in 2007. Uh, I just said like uh, I'm from the um, all the way eastern part, one of the kind of remote villages, Bhawanipur, but yeah, I had a privilege to be here in 2007 uh, New York, man. And since then, I'm here. It's 2007. 2007. City has changed, sir. Change 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 our community has changed, sir. In 2007, there was a different year. In 2013, there was a different year. How is it different here? Within our community as well. Of course, uh, one thing, uh, again, so you brought the very good, uh, I think they start about the numbers and pretty immense and about the the in terms of the how big our nepali community in america and that is one of the one of the big change like when i came in 2007 there was when i used to more rigid ma sura ma baste in here ko uh, it is still called that is we call that building is a gorkha building <laughs> yeah what that, that time even that time because most yeah. of the nepal new york on that initially people if you want to be like you know get uh, you need a shelter or everything right. quickly adjustment ko lagi everybody goes to there okay? mm-hmm. so i'm part of that also that one of the gorka tra- building gorka yeah. building so i happen to go 1605 is called the putna mahal is very well known <laughs> in region and on office is called the gorka building where it should be like thousands of people live in the this whole block in right. two buildings am right uh, so i started there so now that uh, in terms of number um, again when i 2007 is like of course the last number mm-hmm. but since after it's like 15 16 years, there's a big number of the uh, so the 17 person there is an i there is an i you know no. there is an i it's like big community now in the region itself with that almost uh, 5000 plus people lives in the that's entire couple of blocks right. uh, we are the uh, the first i mean just couple of weeks ago uh, we purchased our own building over there and we building the nepali community center and the uh, temple durga uh, temple This is the first uh, for the, our kind of on our things there. So these are the, uh, just I'm giving the one part of the New York. In terms of the overall, yeah, New York, my population, by there is so much change, a big community, like unofficially, say the um, almost uh, 100,000 people uh, we already have in the, mm-hmm. this uh, uh, greater uh, New, New York, York area. Yes. This is the time I came to the Times Square, but I'll come to that. I'll come to that. टाइम्स स्क्वर फर्क थे अस पीछे तो लिफ्ट लिंता खेल नेपाली दाजू ने ना चलाइ रहो लिफ्ट है अभी वहाँ ने मैं पुर्वन भो अटो में कुरा करते आयो कि हमी है वहाँ लिबी पर्या रही है वहाँ लिबी पर्या रही सब परिवार आने भे पैला अस्टिन आने भे एटा समस्या के भादा खेल अरु शहर यहाँ को जो लाई मैं फिर मत को होना सो मनफ्यूज भी होना सकूला है अरु शहर में गाड़ी चलान जानू पर्ने यो शहर में गाड़ी चलान जान नपर्ने है वहाँ ने कस्त मजा भादा दाई त्या बसा खेल तो हमी तो एट कोठा भि बंद बसा जो भो यहाँ आई सके हमी फ्रीडम पाइय वहाँ भो भनी सके मैं यह शहर को प्रोज मध्य सबसे ठूल प्रो नो हो जो लगता एक हिसाब से भन्न पर्दे है सोशियल प्रस्पेक्ट ने आइडेन्टिटी को हिसाब से देर इज सो मच वी हेव आवर एक्जिस्टेन्स भन न क्योंकि वन थिंग स्ट्राइक मी वेन आई केम इन टू थाउजेंड सेवेन आई आई इज हेपेन टू फर मी सम रिजन आई वॉज अलवेज पैसनेट टू बी इन्वल्व इन द सोशल एक्टिविटी सो आई वो आई स्टार्ट इन माई केरियर बिसाइड माई पब्लिक हेल्थ केरियर प्रोफेसनली आई हेड टू अपर्चुनिटी टू वर्क इन द टू थाउजेंड टेन सेंस अफ द यूनाइटेड स्टेट अफ अमेरिका just after three years mm-hmm. I came in this country and then one thing I realized that time that the census ko kaam garda kiri I was mm-hmm. one of the uh, enumerator I started mm-hmm. with that of course had a data collection yeah. and one thing very uh, strike me and it's still that uh, strike but on a bird's eye like try to uh, myself justify how can I 
make that difference in my community. Mm-hmm. So that's the major thing was when they was doing this with the, the questionnaire, still you see the census government questionnaire, ma, there is a ethnic identity you have to disclose them, right? Mm-hmm. So on the other, there is African American, Asian American, there are so many categories where the count of the, our existence happened actually. Right. So under the Asian American, there is a subcategory called the Indian American, Filipino American, mm-hmm. Chinese American, Korean American. And I'm like, where I'm going to find my <laughs> Nepal? Like, Nepal is American. Right. Nepal is American. Nepal American. Exactly. I, I was keep flipping the page. Right? Right. Like, there's none him, right? So then eventually I asked my supervisor, you know, I'm, I came from the Nepal, but, and I, I see him in my, where I live, I see there's a thousand people there. Right. So I imagine in whole city, there should be like 100,000 people, but I still don't see my, my identity here. And then she told me like, uh, there's no such thing happen. If you want to be uh, uh, your existence or, your represents there, there is a call the others, you know, other the Asian mm-hmm. American co category, ma, subcategory, ma, others, ma, tick tick ra, and then Nepali American, like Nepali, right, right. which there is a people doesn't have that awareness in community mm-hmm. builders. So that time strike me, and then I realized that after the 2010 co census, I was just new immigrants, so working there, they could have the one new then, and that result came out, and even I was doing the research, that time it was only 3,000 something people was. Officially, data of the Nepali America. Hold on, in New York. In New, in York. New, York. In New York. York, not in America. In no New America. York. But okay. still, in my next door, I have like whole block. There's a thousand people live. Right. And now my um, official data says only have a three hundred something, three thousand something people in whole New York. I'm like, seriously, that there is something wrong in the either the yep. system or or, or ourselves. Then oh. over the time, we realize it's not just the system. It's to make the your voice heard. You need to be together. again like together, and you have to uh, create the awareness in your own community. Exactly. And then, if you be together, then you can work uh, towards our identity and integration and empowerment of the community. That's the three philosophy. I I got to catch that that did it again. And this position, I thought like no matter how uh, successful or whatever gonna be my self career, I came from public health background or not matter how. My career goes to just to J mm-hmm. level my boy penny. I have to work for my community, uh, for make uh, you know my community Born visualize, in. you know, and then um, uh, say again like empower our community in terms. But if, to empower, we have to first uh, present our existence, make our loud bowser, get a voice loud. And in two prospect where I started working different things. We're gonna come on that. But again, that's that's some of the change. Go mm-hmm. How's the New York City go? Now we see uh, there's a lot of the, uh, you know, system, system uh, like a lot of the Nepalese, Amer- Nepali American are, are participating, mm. making the voice louder. There is a, so visible. much visible for, on different prospects, mm. okay? not mm. professionally, also socially. There is a lot of social engagement. We have, a, we're going to, you, you mentioned we when a conversation, mm. we have a probably, not only the community grassroots worker, but now we have a first ever proud Nepali elected in the city council. Exactly. You know, like lawmaker is Nepali. Exactly. So these these are the so change where there is so much happening. Our identity is more visual, and there is so much things to be can be done. But at the same time, we need to all dot needs to be connected, and we need to work collaboratively to you know promote more uh, unitedly our identity integration, and and then we can more empower our community. No, no doubt on that. That's that's so fantastic to know. That's as a good in my all Nepali census on that day, Chahi. And in Nepali American theory, Chahi, na da. So <laughs> interesting story. I'm sorry, I'm taking more time. So <laughs> after the good. ten years, here is the 2020 census just happened, right. like before the pandemic. I mean, I mean, on March. Uh, pandemic, pandemic 2020, ma. Yeah. And I was so passionate, uh, so I again apply, and I this time I work as supervisor. On 2020 census, ma, and then I had like 20, 35 people I used to manage in numerator because I'm now supervisor, and um, still there was still there is no Nepalese American category mm-hmm. on that because there is a certain uh, parameters or numbers you have to be you know Critical to map done say oh, mm. ma, ma, map done say pura yeah. garipe si matre they will mm. uh, honor to recognize that level you know. Uh, but the one thing what happened like during that 10 years co period ma uh, there is another 
डिफरेंट अनअफिशियल डाटा बीन पब्लिस बाय द सेंसर डिपार्टमेंट के होता है एटा चाहे नेशनल सेंसस भाई ओवरअल काउंट करने के जैसे यहाँ पर दस दस वर्ष में तर बिट्विन दैट दे डू द लड अफ द अदर सेंसस मिनी सेंसस जस्ट इकोनॉमिक पर्सपेक्टिव ले बिजनेस को हिसाब से अथवा सोशियल आइडेन दे डू ले बिलिव सो टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी सम आदा खेल स्टिल देर इज लाइक सेवेन थाउजेंड समथिंग नंबर राइट बट व्हाट वी ब्रॉड वन थिंग मेजर चेंज लाइक देर इज बाय दिस विद इन द टेन इयर्स देर इज सो मच सोशियल चेंज हेपन देर इज लड अफ द एक्टिव डाइसपोरा बेस्ड अर्गनाइजेशन इन्क्लूडिंग लाइक अधिकार और मेनी अदर लाइक एनआरएन एंड देन अदर अदर सोशियल अर्गनाइजेशन वॉज सो मच एक्टिव टू ब्रिंग द सम Uh, you know, do something for their community, society. But again, like most of the these are nice and it's still kind of uh, influenced by the Nepal politics or whatever. You know, our changes happen in Nepal, ma. But there is a lot of the nice and who also want to create the uh, some changes here and advocating for our society. So we thought, like collectively, not just only me, because I was the one of supervisor. There's a other. I thought, like, if we can have more people like me working on the census, our community get engaged because there is a partnership opportunity also for the different community organizations who can collaborate with the census yeah. department or other authorities who can before even census start to promote the exactly. that awareness where people can even there is others have maximum people. Put Nepali American or Nepalese American in that other section, not just tick mark on the other. Mm. And also, one thing uh, was very challenging to on that part to get the actual number because people are afraid. Because when we talk about the 500, we're talking about mm. the and uh, overall USA data. You have to also think about uh, like more than half percent of that number. No matter what number we're talking. These are like uh, I wouldn't undocumented. Exactly, I don't want to use that term. Mm. I mean, but these are the mostly undocumented people, which doesn't have to do. This let's say, could even assert part in the census. My, if you want to be uh, counted, you can count it without having your immigration status but disclosed. Our, our community doesn't know that exactly. Okay, hold on. So <laughs> I am not even from right. here. Right? Can you please explain this to everybody? I'll throw a buzzer in the I mean, not just this. Uh, you're a particular. You're specific. Could have one more. I mean, Zilia, na. What I've realized is one of the things our community really, really lacks is that information, co access to information, mm. right? Only till they got that, it's um, hurt hurt us so much over generations because as simple as what are your rights and responsibilities? About how many? You know, I'm sort of realizing this because we've been doing a lot of sessions on immigration and so on, right? All like people that are on student visa, you know, working visa, mm-hmm. you know, this may be. There is so much people don't know. People are actually, uh, you know, um, they they sometimes get in trouble because mm. they're just waiting for something to happen instead of being a little proactive, asking these questions. They have nobody to ask, right? So to even providing that information, whatever you know, uh, different tiers of Nepalese go like. Yeah. Is also like so needed. यो वड़ा यो वड़ा कुरा साझी लो बनाया चलो बिल्कुल इस तरफ है ना यो स्पेशली यो सेंसस के कुरा वड़ा मात्रे भाई बनी एलआई एलआई तो एटलिस्ट हुआ रहूँ ना इन्हें सो सेंसस में ऐसे ही मैन से लेकर ऐसे ही इजीली आपनों स्टेटस यो जून्स के स्टेटस में भाई बनी उल्लेख सेंसस में ऐसे बागली ना पहुँच and just being counted putting your information where you live mm. what's your generation they're not gonna they're very protected now immigration department or USCIS even cannot use that authorized data for any rather than just counting purpose okay, US mm. census go it's very protected but again our, our people to, to awareness and to confidence and it's our responsibility as a community leader many of them including just like in our in our diaspora leaders mm. Or, or professional to educate our people and build that confidence. So these people, without afraid, malai chay mati hai mera information disclose kar diye bani mera naam address bano na sabi kora rakhi sevsi boli kar rahe ho mera consequences consequences bad uncha bani kora ma theo insurance yadi mudai na bani kora baba bani they will definitely come for it. So theo theo kora ma chay ab theo kosari uncha banda kri you need to have a trusted partnership ke building the community to reach out them. And it's not like I'm one time thing. I know exactly. So, mm-hmm. so it's like ongoing thing. So right. this year, 2020, again, we had mobilized so many organization partnership, mm-hmm. and a right. lot of the campaign process happened. We even have our Nepali or counting, co-like, or a little committee. So much things happen, 
and uh, we, it, we came up with a very good result. And it's like now we have like almost more than double, uh, like almost 15,000 plus. Uh, in New York. Mm-hmm. New York. But until uh, so much activity like that, in New York, USA, overall, USA, might say that impact was very uh, influential. And oil is a big number counting. Uh, government got data. Hmm. Uh, but besides that, people, our diaspora also realize that, see, uh, this is a, one of the best uh, way to get our stocks or our share in the table. Exactly. When you in the policy making mm-hmm. either or, or mm-hmm. like resources. Ma. Exactly. And without having these numbers, officially, whatever we have, maximum right. number, we cannot get the, our our uh, uh, most of the our stock of the share of the this country where we are putting so much effort we paying the tax we are all the mostly the taxpayer and again that's mm-hmm. i've been following with the pirtiji and their diaspora activity i came is eventually no recently there's so many people professional people behind the on scene machani so ki times where ke kura garen there's so much professional these are the taxpayer they pay to this exactly. country right they pay to build this mm-hmm. country they work hard they spend their time they sweat their energy, everything to build this country. But Jati Amile struck share pound per new to country coda policy level water to Ubarte, the Amru completely pass in a get to identity that you level coda resources. This could re cura one ego. We have to work, work together. together. And until realize Gurda, Pochi Chambers to NRN, they clear other different organizations, or they're starting the, their, their counting their own people's. Starting the membership. Tiyota, obviously. And nice program. Like, one of the other people who have been asked also planning to have mapping. Mm-hmm. Embassy, then we also engage the consulate or embassy. Like, you guys should mm-hmm. initiate that some of the resources to have the, our actual, even unofficial account. We have data like. So, do you have to say that? Yes, I have to say that. 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 That's the goal. That's the hope. That's the hope. We have to work together. Uh, you know, one point is, Amit Ji, I want to say, you are especially, last couple of years, the White House has been a lot of initiatives. And when I attended those events, your Asian American Pacific Islanders, there are lots of, uh, you know, events, lots of grants and so on. Yeah, what I realized is there is so much focus on all of us, I guess, yeah. right? That are not on Nepali Americans or Nepalese Matre. Okay? Because we're not we're we've been so fragmented, mm-hmm. I think, right? Yeah. Uh, one sort of uh, really strong belief I have is Nepali organizations who have been around for a while, right? They've done amazing work. Uh, areas, ma. So we're still so fragmented. Okay? Mm-hmm. So in the end, it doesn't matter ki, you know, we have one successful entrepreneur, uh, you know, New York ma or Texas ma or somewhere. Or it doesn't matter ki we have, you know, Yora Nepali organization, yeah, Yora Ka, Yora, yeah. you know, working on different things. As long as we're not connected, we're not visible. Okay? Yeah. Right? So it's, you know, I think this is the time for us to come together. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And that's the way to get it started and yeah no that's good to know i'm listening or next generation like you know so again more nepali basi or something is a good issue like you know what it owns on a pie especially you know my dear son could happen you got no pain what is new i'm just an observer here right now and he just soon upon that he was so interesting like so next generation of nepali americans are are growing up right now right yeah I know your kids, your kids are growing mm-hmm. up right now. You know, when you're so keen, God's son, but it feels so fantastic because how are they going to grow up and how are they going to be? What, what kind of information are they going to get about back home, mm-hmm. about yes. their mom's home or dad's home? It's very interesting for me right now. As a good in message, especially all across, not right. just in New York, yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. all across the exactly. US. Right. How are the kids doing? Mm. How is their education? And right. what kind of culture and what kind of heritage are they getting? Right. Right. You're a specific subject. New York thought process. Community is a What do you think of that? 
uh, also depends on man's life cycle, mm. right? Um, about the, so just as an example, um, at the Great Nepali Diaspora, I'd say it's everyone from you know college students, undergrad students to all the way to senior professional entrepreneurs and so on. Right? Only, you know, we've all experienced this. At college, you're sort of coming with this uh, idealistic view. Mm. You just have to survive, right? So mm. a lot of it is uh, community. It's either college or you know, few people that you knew from high school and things like that. Right? Yeah. And over time, you build your community and so on. Uh, what I've also seen is, uh, you know, the middle some company, you know, especially if people stay in the same cities, mm. uh, they had these gather their own group of people, right? Sathya so uh, and so on, right? Uh, thara, as people get more and more successful, they step back uh, from that group. Okay, but not from not from that group. Thara, mm. now they don't need to be out there. Like they don't need to network. Okay? Mm. I think the uh, orko trend that I've noticed with uh, you know hamro Nepali haruma is no not with bad intention, but uh, you know as you get more successful, your time is even more valuable. Mm. You don't need to uh, be out there. You have limited time and so on. But uh, what's what? Uh, it's a personal choice, right? Oh, yeah. But uh, what that's doing is it's hurting our community mm. right? because you know uh, w- which means that we don't have these people, role models to look forward to. We don't have, we don't get their learning and so on. And for those people as well, because it, it is lonely at the top, Pansani, right? Yeah. So, journey uh, mapani. So, you know, they're having to experience a lot of things on their own. Mm, mm, so, Tio sure. uh, has been a lot of, uh, uh, you know, uh, a lot of shared experiences from a lot of people. Uh, Ani, what, um, you know, I keep on saying this, that, uh, uh, Nepali Aruko, we have Momo parties, hmm. but not men- mentorship parties. Okay? Ooh. Uh-huh. Ooh. <laughs> I love this. Yeah, you know, um, yeah, yeah. That, that, right? Where, uh, you know, uh, social ties, we have very strong to Nepal. Mm-hmm. We have, a, a, you know, amazing group of friends or people we hang out with. Mm-hmm. But uh, the loneliness also comes because professional pursuits, uh, you, you know, whether you're an entrepreneur or you're doing your nine to five job, you don't talk to other Nepalis on that, okay? Mm. So you're you have that loneliness also because the you know, community is just there to you know have fun on the weekends, Ramayla Garna, which is so needed, right? I'm not mm. discounting that, yeah, yeah. but uh, professionally, we don't we don't have that. Yeah. Mentorship at the same time discuss more on ideas. Exactly. Like see, like just the belief that Nepali life is idea bani bani chodera loksa. Yeah, Nepali le help kar dena. They're just going to go off matra dinsa, right? These are things that we're sort of um, seeing it. Only we're, uh, you know, to once any vicious cycle, ma, okay? So some, at some point, you have to say, I know, like, let me give this a chance, mm. right? If I'm ready to, you know, a city like New York City, ma, where millions of people from around the world come to make it here, why would you trust anybody else and not a Nepali? You gotta trust your own. Of course, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, well, that's that, that's 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 a fantastic perspective. Exactly, one idea. I love talking about ideas. <laughs> I don't waste time at all. I know right. Amita knows that very yeah, well. I know sure. we, we discuss thousands of ideas all the time, uh, all the time. Uh, one of the first ideas you had was Miss Nepal US. Yeah. So, yeah. No, 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 yeah. no. Go ahead. No, no. Finish <laughs> okay, so your no, thought. I was continuing in the connecting when you Go started with the, uh, you know, so you have visited so many and people are still about the loneliness or uh, not being. Sure, sure, sure. Your part much, eh? You know, what I could have realized is that it's like my short period of time while I was spending in USA. Mm-hmm. I was so heavily engaged because of that the perspective I got from 2010. So I was starting my career engaging myself more into the Community. career. Right. So it's called the civic engagement, not mm-hmm. only our community, but also in the, the political or elected system market, how the government system works right. beside my career. So do it a kura, what a kura came when half no existence could like you have no number of family could agree or could say what we are very rich on that. And what's a good thing is for us is, and about the America, American people love the diverse culture. Okay? No. And like, you know, you know, people, why this is so much mm-hmm. tourist in Nepal, even back America, because they love the way everybody go there. 99% is become so happy because they love the people, hospitality, diverse culture, food, because that's who American or people or Western people are not. But, 
And this is the one thing I realized, okay, this is a, one of the powerful tool for us. Even we don't have a big number, we can have our visual presence if we collectively promote our diverse culture in the mainstream. Mm -hmm. And for that, there is a two factor on that. Once you able to bring that uh, mm -hmm. diverse culture from different perspective, which already been many organizations nice doing, you will be amazed. Uh, there are so many diaspora organizations. Uh, New York, my mother, there is 85 plus Nepali organizations. Okay? Mm -hmm. Including the share party to declare different after the committee go, Gao, Jilla, Samokosa. But there is so many organizations and so many their activity. But one thing is, I mean, sometimes look like we are so divided in Nepal, one that when you have a Madhesh organizations, one no difference. There are Ramrukura Ki, Molaxi, Sobe, whatever. Everybody is trying to do and promote their own identity and culture. Exactly. Collectively, which became the more voices. The two cases, much I'm will give a Nakodi one. That's I realize it. If we start uh, uh, promoting our uh, culture, diverse culture, that are gonna bring so much attention to the uh, broader uh, people, local people. At the same time, we have to figure out um, doing that. If we able to connect the next generation, mm -hmm. because that's the very uh, important things for us. If we want to keep, like we can have a number, right? But if we want to keep our existing identity. We need to pass our culture and root to the, our next generation. I have my two, I just said, like, I have a two kids, mm -hmm. I'm right, nine years son and six year daughter. She so goes in the school, I'm right, uh, and then most of the time they spend hang with the local people, like uh, American people in my high school, like, hardly there's a two percent of the South Asian origin people where they go. Most of the time they spend there and they learn about this culture and this their lifestyle, but at the same time, slowly, slowly, if we're not conscious about transfer our cultural identity, mm -hmm. they eventually after high school, so that things also strike me very early as my, you see, ma. and I thought like, we need to have a such kind of platform or, or social kind of platform, I would call social platform, where we need to connect our next generation, mm -hmm. you know, and then the way they like it, the way they like it, it's not like you just have the, you know, we have two gaps, okay, Community leader, the organization, or Rumara, Yozun, activity, where that's a Tilly Gordapin Malaxa, or so not only the professional people are behind, not the visualizer, mm -hmm. connected China, any other Kama Momo party, etc. There's no mentorship mm -hmm. party because, and these even uh, professional people not even connected with the community people, you know, this day, uh, young generation or next generation man's your life, any. Uh, platform are connect with this activity engagement is okay? mm. so that things really strike me uh, big time and I thought like well people mostly especially young next generation but currently most of the people mm -hmm. America study student visa right international study uh, they initially when they come they always needed support and they try to connect with the mm -hmm. Nepali diaspora to our local community or something when they need help but in his, eventually we started when they go to college, when they go in the college, they hang out with the, their, you know, the different environment, ma, less percentage of our community. So we started, mm. we started, they're trying to be, and it's by human nature, okay, more open. It's like trying to be more westernized, okay, like trying to forget our root culture or, or more to be comfortable to hang out with the other community, other people and professionally. It's a growth system. But one thing is in America, everybody like the, Entertainment and fashion is so much happening in the country, glamorous, uh, you, especially in New York City. So, and they like it, they hang out, they, um, these kind of things. Ma. So, then this idea came why not the best way to, if I want to connect these people, uh, let's bring the, some kind of platform uh, where they feel like they are also have chances to be in that limelight. Mm. But the, our internal you know, hidden concern, Amro, Amro, target, once we bring certain platform, I would I next generation commands your life. Uh, our goal, them simply and them, uh, uh, concrete We need to teach them. We need to give, have something in their mind that no matter how they successful will be in their whatever career, they have to realize where culture they belongs, what food they uh, be, uh, come from, and if we can transfer this mm. even little knowledge to them, eventually as a you know, that will bring the something to our community like eh? and to, we started the Mission Nepal US in 2011, where our goal was to bring the young generation Nepali, mm. especially students, 
to bring that platform and they feel like this is a new beauty pageant kind of fashion, fun entertainment, but the core value was there to teach them and have mentorship there to uh, uh, you know remember, remind them about their mm. root and culture. I'll give you a perfect example. Suzita Basnet was the first Miss Nepal USA. When she came in 2011, the first part of Myanmar, when I had, we had audition in Washington, D.C., she even doesn't speak Nep- Nepali, you know, like, you know, see, that's grown up. She was born in Nepal, I think, below five months, I was born in Nepal, I think, below five months, I was born in I think, below five months, I was born in Nepal, like, 19 years ago, she participated. That's why someone was like, 90% she was uh, kind of, you know, change with the culture influence yeah, locally more strange. Nepali pin bola thena, Nepali go barum tedin ten open tena. But once we that that these people, group of people once we bring that we have a that kind of uh, mentorship there. Uh, it was a uh, Priyanka Karki, Gauri Maladidi, who has a good team, and also the, we try to connect with the um, diaspora co leaders, mm-hmm. uh, different community co who can teach them and about uh, talks about different culture or culture value. That's why Anitya's uh, mom theme ne or the opening you've been the part of that uh, theme opening round ne or uh, diversity unity in diversity one or different ethnic city co uh, like they have assignment each participant have to yeah. prepare themselves to present what one ethnicity and one culture of the Nepal and they have to portray that and whoever portray nicely so that assignment bring them a lot of the curiosity to research and do things so two two is have let's say we started that platform. And uh, we, I'm very proud. As a, like again, I'm not a professionally from the entertainment industry or fashion industry, but even being a social entrepreneur myself as considered, I thought like we breathe a lot of the changes through that platform mm. after the down to to our Lebanon oil dust And you can see now, Sujita is uh, she is more passionate to be Nepali. Than American, see, and recently she moved to Nepal for a certain time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Many people want to go. No. So, so that's connect the youth, young generation to bring that our platform and then give the mentorship about mm. mostly mm. focus on the social uh, identity and how they can clarity work with the different generation people. So it's like bridging the gap between different genders. And I know, I know, no, no doubt on that as well. <laughs> I know, and mm. as a, from coming to 2011 right. Right. to now, I know, to change the obviously, mm-hmm. to change the mud zali, I see it. So, in the beginning, in the beginning, I was in mentorship, I was in the beginning, 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 I was very honest. I was a short span. I was a short span. I was a short span. I was a I'm obviously young and old. I'll call everybody friends. I was a successful victory. successful community level. I was a Medicine में उन्होंने जरा इस अकॉर्डिंग जाने साथी हो रहे हैं ना innovators, entrepreneurs आई ना नेपाली दार को आई ना सब इस जाने I'm sure कुने ना कुने रूप ले सही अमेरिका भीतर और अमेरिका बाहर अपनी नेपाल ले अपनी दीदे उन्होंने सा कत्ती दे कत्ती I know probably Moilin or Sunayoki, just to be Mala Lagio, Alicatis and Malabin to Lagio. Within the community, within 500,000 Mandubo, you know, some of the Nopugaoki, Una Sokla, just to be Mala Lagio, Ozuku Kurasun, the Hedin. As a good dinma, I slightly want to talk about a few problems and then obviously we'll move on to its solutions. And a few problems, few things that can be rectified and that can be changed. Right away, man. Like, what comes in your mind uh, right away? Uh, for our diaspora, ki in Nepal. Well, for our diaspora, yeah. let's not even go there. Uh, for our diaspora, man, say, uh, I think uh, being intentional. I mean, I use the intention. Intentional, say, it's one of my favorite words. Mm. I use it in a lot of, uh, you know, with a lot of different things. I know. Uh, intentional, man, I'd say, kyo, man, uh, Simply, uh, what we're trying to create is a Nepali le Nepali la help for us. Mm. Yeah. It does not mean anybody is going to give you a handout. That is not it. Okay, uh, Amro. You know, when when we say behavior change, Gornu parsa bani ko. Tio bani kyo bani? 
Uh, this is just as an example. Uh, you know, one of the reasons my day yo diaspora start got is um, I, I attended um, Yale School of Management, right? Oh. Mm-hmm. And and the reason I bring it up is obviously a very prestigious school, alumni base is like the main and everything, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. But uh, what uh, s- uh, struck me was you could be a student and if you reach out to a accomplished alumni just on via email or LinkedIn, they will always uh, give you time. Always. Yeah. Right? Uh, insane. Right? Only for me, it was like, how do I replicate it? Mm-hmm. How do I make it easy for a student that's looking for an internship or a job to reach out to somebody that might be a decision maker, that mm. might be a hiring manager, right? So one is to uh, you know, student like encourage Garniki, this is what you should do. Uh, hiring manager like encourage Garniki, you know, if you're hiring people, if you're at a level where you are making these decisions, why wouldn't you give a Nepali a chance, right? But mm. I think one uh, very important thing is how do we teach Nepalis to be professional with each other? Yeah. Right? Nepali one like bhai is to like dai is to like unsani where you don't want them to show up to a meeting unprepared because somebody is a Nepali. What I'm encouraging um, our diaspora is we have that common thread. Let's use it. You know, whether it's a reference, whether it's a job opportunity, you never know, right? Mm. Whether it's mm. just as yeah. simple as a coffee chat once any, right? Mm. But uh, let's impress the heck out of this person, right? If you have one chance and this person is giving you a chance, be more prepared than you would for any other person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that they're like, oh my God, this guy is amazing, right? And it just takes, you know, uh, that kind of, uh, yeah. you know, perception to to change things, right? Also, um, we have 40 chapters around the world, Uh and one of the things we do is uh, we do these in-person networking events. Mm. Right? Mm. Only, um, you know, at, at first sight, if you look at, uh, you know, pictures and so on, it just looks like happy hours. Okay? Right? But uh, our intention is uh, that's a safe space for Nepalis to come together and uh, start doing this chit-chat. Okay? Man, uh, like if you don't know Nepalese, like for example, like even in New York City, I'm sure you see it, right? Now you see a lot of Nepalese. Nepali does to dekhi ne mansi aru dekha, right? Mm. Uh, people recognize you. That's different. Right? No, no. Tara, yeah. <laughs> if you were just like walking and if you saw a Nepali, would you say hello? And you're asking. Yes, you're, yes. Oh, you're asking. Yeah, of asking, course, of course, I would. No, no, yeah. you would, right? Because yeah. Yeah. you know, it's a. But um, I think for for most Nepalese. They you wouldn't care. Yeah. Mm. If, you, yeah, if, a, if you're a, if they're a friend, they would you would go say hello. Mm-hmm. If like even if Rami Batama in that if we just cross paths with any normal mm. American bunny, tourist bunny on Times Square, you would say good morning, hello, like yeah. that. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't like it just comes uh, normally, naturally to us. Yeah. If you see a Nepali, you would not see it. Not with any bad intention. Okay, tar, I'm no, we're, mm-hmm. uh, you know, we're conditioned that way. Mm. Oh, but say, how do you, you don't banale, oh, Nepali, oh, best friends, like, let's take a selfie. Hai, okay? How do we, uh, you know, build these uh, long-term relationships with other Nepalis? How do we act with each other in prof- uh, professional matter how do we do these yo yo kevans icebreakers man sani not in nepali lai how do you you know connect with them yeah right? you are any, once uh, once our community members learn that in a safe space right where people are first ma awkward ali ki ke bhanne not in man sali ki kura garne and we don't want to ask aba kaam ke garcha these are like for a, for a lot of us these don't come naturally to us mm. these kind of questions these feel very personal questions right our hope is they get to go out in the world and network with everybody else mm. and do amazing things. Mm. Right? Mm. But you, safe space is needed. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you talk about the problem. So that's the actually the very uh, genuine and biggest one of the problem. As I, like, I love these three words. All the things are surround my life in that identity in the empowerment. Identity co partma, we are somehow now collectively very successful, mm. successfully moving forward to have our 
डिफ्रेंट डिफ्रेंट आपको डाइस पढ़ा को डिफ्रेंट डिफ्रेंट प्रोफेसन देखिए कम्युनिटी में अपने हिसाब से आइडेन्टिफाई भग नाउ बिगेस्ट चैलेंज इज देयर टू इंटिग्रेट के मैं भाई लाइक इस दैट इंटिग्रेसन को पार्ट में यू नीड टू यू फर्स्ट स्टार्टेड विद इन द हस विद इन आवर कम्युनिटी एंड दैट कैन हेपन थ्रू द नेटवर्किंग इफ यू बिलीव इट एंड दैन डिफ्रेंट प्रोसपेटिव कुरा में वन अफ द पावरफुल टूल चाहे नेटवर्किंग नहीं हो अथवा इवेन्चुअली जैसे लाइक एंड दिस इज सैड वेरी एकदम बिटर ट्रुथ भन न वेन पीपल आर वाकिंग नेपाली हमी हेलो भैन अब तेज को डिफ्रेंट रिजन एवं कस्त इज अ डिफ्रेंस गैप भी है क्या क्योंकि यह दुई तीन टाइम कारण रिजन के भैन भर मत भू गाट फाइन द सू कई रिजन भादा खेल दुई तीन टाइम तीन मैं आप एक्सपीरियंस कर ते मैं भाई जेनेरेशन गैप ले आई नो दैट ढाका टोपी इवेन लगाकर हे था अथवा में कुरा गई रख्स टाइम जिसको में दुईजना भी इफ आई वाक अराउंड आई आम अ सोशियल गाय सो आई कैन से नेपाली हुए नमस्ते के बट लड पीपुल पास बाय बट डेन इवेन टक अबाउट बिकज टू थिंग्स एवं चाहे जेनेरेशन गैप को यंग जेनेरेसन से उन्नी अलग हे हो कंफोर्टेबल कुरा कर चाहन अर्क के अलग घमंड नभन दिस पीपल लुक्स लाइक माई टाइप आई एम लाइक वेरी सक्सेसफुल गाय आई वर्क इन दिस टाइम्स को हायर बिल्डिंग मैम द लर्ड और इंजीनियर आई एम लाइक वेरी प्रोफेसनल दैन दिस वाई आई सुड गो एंड यू नो टक विथ आई आइडेन्टिफाई माइ सेल्फ तो भन लेवल प्रोफेसनलिज्म को लेवल भन न अब ट्रुथ अर्क इमिग्रेसन कमेंट में स्पेशली न्यूयोर्क में लेसे द I give you for example. I know there is so many. Still, we're trying to discover the professional or highly successful. So near me, but but ninety percent of people is still is a we call the give one middle class kind of family. On the like uh, majority of people is still work in the but on on even entrepreneurship. Go his family or the saloon business. Ma ho, so that but on a majority like more than ten thousand are drivers. Our people. Uh, it brought that you know is still driving the ubers mm. or uh, two profession matcha so euta uh, inferiority superiority inferiority complex mm. ani tele garna parda pani alikati gulmel huna sakeko chaina ra arko chai tei mentorship ko kura ma chai the we have not re- our people and they realize the power of the networking ke exactly. or, or being together never know when each people can help or can be useful bhanne kura ma tyo euta lack bhairaha cha so right. integration ko part ma is very challenging cha अलग को प्रब्लम कि हाउ वी इंटिग्रेट एमंग आवर आउन सेल्फ एंड दैन नेक्स्ट लेवल विल बी टू इंटिग्रेट विद द नेक्स्ट लेवल अफ सोसाइटी लाइक इज जस्ट लाइक सी अ ब्रथ अ वेरी गुड पॉइंट अबाउट द एशियन अमेरिकन हेरिटेज मंथ लाइक एशियन अमेरिकन हेरिटेज दे सो मेनी रिशोर्सेज पॉलिसी देख लीएर गवर्नमेंट लेवल में टप टू बटम के व्हाइट हाउस देख लीएर यहाँ सानों ग्रास रुट लेवल में आई हेपन टू लाइक जस्ट लास्ट मंथ इज मे इज ए कल द एशियन अमेरिकन Not only that, the uh-huh. common that May month is a uh, uh, celebrated in the White House in the government official as a Asian American and Pacific Heritage Month, mm-hmm. whole month. Okay, mm-hmm. right. there's so many activities happen exactly. to promote the uh, identity and empowerment of the Asian Amer- American and Pacific and the heritage. And every uh, political office or elected office celebrate that. Okay, mm-hmm. and I was uh, amazed. I was kind of surprised and sad also, but happy too. I was the first Nepali mm-hmm. to be part of the. तो एशियन अमेरिका हेरिटेज मंथ सेलिब्रेशन इन द गवर्नर हाउस में के दिस इयर इन द न्यूयॉर्क स्टेट को गवर्नर में एंड आई आई रियलाइज दैट छू बट अगेन लाइक जिस इंटिग्रेशन नेवर हेपन ओवर नाइट यू गैट बी दैट्स द वन अफ द बिग प्रॉब्लम वी हेव राइट नाउ टू फाइंड द सोल्यूसन टू हाउ टू इंटिग्रेट आवर डिफ्रेंट लेवल अफ पीपल डिफ्रेंट कम्युनिटी डिफ्रेंट जेनरेशन हम यू नो अगे योर क्वेश्चन इन टर्म्स अफ आवर नेपालीनेस राइट हाउ डज आर इव आइडेन्टिटी एज अपाली इवल्व विथ आवर जेनरेसन विथ यू नो द नेक्स्ट जेनरेसन एंड सोन आई थिंक इट्स यू नो इट कांट बी यू नो द सेम वट वी से इज यू नो वट इज अपाली राइट नेपाली के होने आवर पेरेंट्स डेफिनेसन आवर राम जेनरेसन हम किस को जेनरेसन इट्स गोइंग बी वेरी डिफ्रेंट राइट मेरे पर्सनल उ मैं कस्त इट्स अल्सो अबाउट फिगरिंग आउट व्हाट वर्क्स फर यू राइट अल्सो एंड पिकिंग आउट बेस्ट प्क्टिस भाई यूएस को जस्ट जस्ट एज एन एक्जापल यूएस को वन थिंग दैट आई अलवेज लव्ड इज वन फ्रीडम राइट इन टर्म्स अफ व्हाट वी डू एंड टू दैट अमेरिकन कन्फिडेन्स के 
right? Mm. It's insane, right? It comes off as arrogant sometimes. Mm. Tara, I, uh, you know, I remember this as an undergrad student where in the little classes, my professors would ask these questions. Yeah. And mm. after like that, boy, when you sort of feel like, okay, I need to make sure I know the know what I'm asking or all of it. And, you know, people would ask these questions like, them randomly with full confidence they'll you know kati times they were right kati times they were wrong doesn't matter that yeah. confidence yep. takes you far okay of course and so what i'm hoping for our diaspora as we evolve is we take some things that are amazing about nepal mm-hmm. right that this feeling about this yeah, your social connections all of it hamro heritage haru but we also adopt some of the things that our adopted countries have mm. right that's the us ko your confidence right whether it's Yo, yo, Miss U.S. Coast, ma. Yeah, in other things, yeah. Mm-hmm. And the blended mix is going to be unstoppable. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Right? In the global context, right? yeah. so, um, mero hope saying to you so that uh, that uh, identities, our identities, sort of evolve over time, uh, and we are, uh, you know, we become incredible. This already. हाम्रो <laughs> 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 एसेट जो हम मोस्ट बिगेस्ट एसेट अफ आवर डाइवर्स आइडेन्टिटी कल्चर आइडेन्टिटी तेल कसरी पास करने कसरी तेल नाट फर बिगर एटलिस्ट मेरे छोरा छोरी कसरी रियलाइज कराने भाई कुरा में मोर फोकस पर्सपेक्टिव ने एज एस लाइक आई बीन अर्गनाइजिंग अर डुइंग मिथिला आर्ट एंड कल्चर के सेंटर इज अर Organizing, I established it in 2019. Ma, mm. uh, been working couple of years. Pehle dekhi nahi. So, in 2019, my first time we organized the Mitla Art uh, Exhibition and Event United Nation Headquarter. It was an eight days long, week long uh, event, and that brought so many things together. Okay, mm. uh, in terms of the promoting the identity of the Nepal ko or Nepali diaspora ko as well from the right from the top of the mm-hmm. world. I would say the from the United Nation Headquarter, but. Mm-hmm. And two Gorda Kiri, this Pussy, and our, our also theme was uh, the signature of the, our event is art for SDG, the Mithla heritage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's not about just promoting our her- culture heritage, but also teaching our kids, our, our old, you know, our part of the world about the sustainable development goal mm-hmm. of the United Nations, mm-hmm. where these all the six countries are. Uh, in this whole United Nation build on the that's called the exactly. pillar of that mm. whole you know uh, United Nation working together 193 country working together to achieve something globally am right mm. so it's very important to teach our gen our part of the world people grassroots level why these so many resources and people are working for a sustainable development world to prospect at the same time we want to pass on our a uh, culture identity so before that even 2019 my uh, art for sdg mitla heritage the mitla heritage or mitla festival organized garu bhanda pahile 2013 ma euta add gari hale 2013 when i realized this census ko everything i organized the first ever street festival in america ma america me first wala it was happen in new york we blocked nice. the two state it's called the nepali nepalese american festival nepali mela mm. so we had like a uh, whole day event going on Uh, 2013, uh, Jacks- mm. 2013 man. in Jackson Heights, man, we we get the permit from the city because so much I get a little bit connection. Whole day to clo- block that whole traffic, everything, pause this whole town right. for one day, and Take then. Take chutti gora, get chutti gora. 2013, man, I started Nepalese American Festival, like a street festival. I had like thousand, ten thousand people. We had stalls, Nepali food, whole day music going on, and it was continued. 2013, the key uh, every year I do, and then 2000 pandemic, so much, eh? Uh, in 2015, I moved to the Manhattan. We did in Manhattan, Bryant Park, Mathe indoor event. Then we've been continuing randomly on and up, but after pandemic, sang sang, I'll get the pause back. So that also bring a lot of the uh, limelight. Right? Why don't you guys work together on this? Of course, we are. <laughs> but coming to the point, I'm saying, until generation go, could I am saying, next generation go like. अभी एवं कोर थिंग मैं अगर नहीं रियलाइज कर अपने रूट अपने कल्चर जो आप अज अलग लिखकर अगड़ी बढ़े क्विकर यू कैन हेव रिस्पोन्स एंड आइडेन्टिटी 
and uh, doing that celebrating the mithila uh, culture or mithila mm-hmm. festival which is one of the you know varuna uh, puranik or significant i think the valuable asset of the nepal right. uh, in terms of the div- culture diversity al bakario gorde sita ko bare ma lot of things happening in the back nepal chanakpur ko bare ma you know so the, that's uh, we need to protect and then not only that asset hamle protect garne ki hamro generation mai passion garnu parcha yaha pani so then i added the another segment is called the kids arts workshop you know that's the art for is the mithila heritage mm-hmm. the segment ko chahi one of the signature event oil a couple of years ma which is the kids art workshop and exhibition okay just my try to engage uh, local kids to learn about this one day one day art workshop where the people will teach about the uh, art form different art form of nepal and also about the united nation ko goal or ko bare ma each year there will be the deep, uh, we do the theme based so every year we pick up the one अनुमेसली Mithila Culture and Festival Day recognizing the rich her- mm-hmm. heritage and culture of Nepal. And every year now... Congratulations. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Every year now, city will celebrate that rich Nepali culture heritage in the city. And this year, we have also promised by the mayor, Honorable Mayor of New York City and their uh, pe- group, I mean their team that will be having a, a Nepali Heritage Day or that's culture perspective in the, their... Gracie Mason or City Hall, so we're working together on that. So that doing on this process, well, can you cry a little bit? I'm one of them. Doing that process, what my goal is to not I'm like trying to be limelight or doing the very little little event or what are you going to connecting with the mayor or governor? Not only that, but what I have realized when I organizing this event, social perspectively, my kids get involved on in that. You know, mm. every year my both both children, my kids get participate on that. This year, my kid, six-year daughter, was so passionate to perform uh, the dance in the Mithili song. Mm-hmm. It was the first time in America happened. My son was participating in the art workshop. And my little yoga guru, Gorda, Gorda, I carry up Gorda. My daughter, even you know better than me. Uh, event, when you organize Gorda, I how much preparation exactly. need to be done. It's not like just uh, something happened overnight. Right. It can be. There's so many process, planning, everything, no. Yeah. And it's happened from home. Mm-hmm. So every time I do in Fantastic. home, my kids mm-hmm. ask, "What is this? What is that?" So I feel like even I don't achieve big things about that. At least my kids get know that ki oh these are my mm. dad is passionate about or my family we come from the root and this is our culture and heritage. So I try to celebrate that perspective. Like, ani tille chahi banu ra profit banu ra good achievement ki or accomplishment ni banu par se this year we had almost forty plus kids from the not like hardly we have from my community like two percent matle amru community ko but 98% of the out of the mithila community co participant were curious to be participate and we had mm-hmm. a, a great privilege to even have the best best of professional uh, trainer from nepal and connecting this uh, uh, mithila you know uh, our manisha jaun mm-hmm. right exactly yeah. mm-hmm. so she is doing amazing very young age ma and manisha was there for train these kids mm-hmm. and then we also had a uh, uh, art uh, senior artist from the indian origin co because this our mithila culture uh cuz heritage is and it's like a spread between you know india part of the the bihar ko and right. nepal ko and uh, i feel like you know if when you are when you are small and you have something very unique if you talking about your part people doesn't maybe kal kai say that loud hudai na boys but the same thing if you have a, even other part of the world other community join together hand exactly. as bigger bigger okay? mm. so it's mm. nothing to harm us collaborate and that's where it come the integration so that's why exactly. i participated and also brought the uh, indian uh, diaspora which is culturally unique similar. and similar to mm-hmm. us and we brought together in one umbrella right. through the this uh, mithila center usa co initiative ma mm. and now we have a, because now we say when is the mithila center usa art uh, or culture activity that brings the you know we say that we have the large mithila community from indian and nepali diaspora which makes like big way powerful exactly. right rather than just saying nepali sano community when is co- connected that 
then people, elected officials or government people feel like, oh, these are very big. So they, we have a more quicker access to get their resources. That's why Mithila's mm. festival and culture was get recognized and uh, by the proclaim. Now, also on this another part now, since we're talking about identity in Nepaliko, we are this year uh, very, also last year actually happened, very proud to mention that Nepal Day was, uh, resolution was passed in the New York uh, State Assembly. Ma. Mm. Even before we had a single member elected in that. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's May 29th, you know, which is that time. Mm, we also, the Republican uh, thing, day in Nepal, we celebrate it. What do you think of that? Uh, May 29th, uh, May 29th, uh, May 29th. Uh, there's, two, there's two occasions. One is the Everest Day, also celebrated. Uh, yeah. Buddha Jainti, Everest Day, uh, and Republic this day, right? Republic Day. All things happened in the May right. te, te last week. Ma. Right. So, uh-huh. te honor ma chai, we have uh, we resolution. Two resolutions was passed in the, actually within the that time frame. One is a Nepal Day celebration, and another is Everest Day mm-hmm. celebration by the New York State Assembly. And this year, just a couple of weeks before, I let me Ami Jackson at New York was to seventy five years ago. Go uh, Tenzing Norgay, Tenzing Norgay Norgay way was mm-hmm. state ko ko nemi baako sahi na. So which is on honor to in honor to you know promote our celebrate our Nepali exactly diaspora ne banu na identity culture. Mm-hmm. So these are the achievements we having this. Okay, but two kura lai sahi mala agi mene Ami kura jo raacho to challenges to uh, how we gonna Pass even this accomplishment or whatever we have to our next generation. And this could like it's anything. I just like I myself as a people call me as a one one man army. You know, I, uh, I, I love I this. I, I am like uh, it's not like proud, mom, but I I be happy that even myself. You know, like the difference going to success, bani change down to success, bani. My own thing. You know, little culture. Come after here, like or even just to very collectively guard you, bani. We can be make a big big boss, bani. Of course, no so, doubt on that. So, going to under the last couple days, I am here, bani. 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 Arthur, can you hear me? How much time do I have, give or take? How much time do I have, give or take? Five. Five, ten minutes. Uh, 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 okay, awesome. Not a problem. So, this is Karen Moyote, probably. Too. It's a very different uh, perspective for me, you know, to uh. listen to all of this. You know, specific days are some of the things that I have probably had. I have a good in my life. कोटी कोटी नया कुरा था वो कि माला आज है ना जून्से माले प्रॉब्ली थे बिफोर दिस पॉडकास्ट आई हैड नो आइडिया अबाउट इट है ना आज एक दिन में ऑब्वियसली यू इन्वॉल्व्ड इन सो मेनी डिफरेंट थिंग्स पीछे है ना ऑब्वियसली वी कैन टॉक अबाउट ऑल ऑफ दैट वंस वी गो बैक टू नेपाल व्हेनेवर यू गाइस Anything specific that you want to let everybody know? And eighty percent of my listenership is from Nepal. So, anything specific you want to talk about, uh, just for my listener base in Nepal, or Nepal by the way, there's only listen to Not right. just in the U.S. There are some Australia, I listen to them. probably only was there Qatar, I listen to them. So, all that. Again, I'm in Delhi, Bandar, Bandar. I realize that. It's a little bit of a sign on me, तर यो पॉडकास्ट के ओर अकी मजा जाए भाई बंदा के रीज़ हैं यो जो मैं शुरुआत करता हूँ मैं रियलाइज़ कर रहा थी ना इन्हें कि एक किस्म के ओर अपरिवार जस्तो बनियो इन्हें जो लेसा ही यहाँ बड़े से धेरे तो जो इनफॉरमेशन पाउनो उनसे के इन्हें अन्य इनफॉरमेशन से सो के समझ से आई वांट टू प Sure. Um, two things, and I'll cre- uh, try to keep it brief. Um, when we think about diaspora, I think there is a misconception. Misconception, there is a perception that mm. diaspora is like an ATM machine, right? Mm. Diaspora ko kam hanaze in Nepal ma investment leoni. Right? I'm sorry mm. if I'm hurting anybody by no, saying this, right? True. Which is true, right? I yeah. do think that, you know, I'm uh, Nepali diaspora, ke, uh, USK matre context called It's not just uh, increasing in number. We're, you know, better educated, have better jobs, doing amazing things. Exactly. Harik domains, right? Mm. You know, there are so many incredible people doing, like, 
you, we can't even imagine they're accomplishing so much. We don't know about it. Mm. But we're, they're doing so much, right? Uh, I think there is the friction is where you just treat, it, treat diaspora as, you know, you bring in investment, mm. right? What I'm learning, and I think where I think there is, uh, there needs to be a little better alignment, Panumna, is that uh, diaspora sangat say keep on isabani that technical expertise, ke, mm-hmm. right? I mean, you work skill with, sets, huh? Yeah, mm-hmm. skill yeah. set, right? And got the time is say when we think about, I mean, you've talked to so many entrepreneurs, and you're you're so plugged in that ecosystem, I know. Nepal ko context ma, it's not just capital. Capital is obviously important. I'm not, you know, uh, saying mm-hmm. it's not. <laughs> but got the times when we think about, uh, you know, uh, Nepali businesses haru and so on mm-hmm. to reach that global level. What they need is technical expertise as well, right? People yeah. that have done it, people that have scaled companies, exited, done like, you know, led of a... Medicine, know, science, let's any, not forget yeah. that. Any, any, anything, yeah. any, mm-hmm. it could be any sort of domain, right? Theo is something that the diaspora has and wants to contribute. That's again mm. the thing, right? So mm-hmm. how do we not just treat the diaspora as something transactional, but how do we really build these broad bridges? Okay? Mm. Right? I think that's super important. And, uh, orko number two, very related, say, there's this uh, concept that Nepal ma bas nera Nepal bai ra, okay? You're not mm. Nepali enough yeah. mm. if you leave Nepal for whatever reasons. Mm. You're, the, you're considered the lucky ones, right? You don't have to, uh, you know, deal with the, the problems that Nepal ma boss ni manse so, so how dare you, you know, tell us what to do, mm. right? Uh, you know, right and wrong, again, right? I'm not, uh, you know, uh, black and white bunny China. But uh, I think there is a way where uh, you, it doesn't have to be that. Okay? Right? I'm, I'm not going to go get into the politics. Of sure. Mm. What I mean is, uh, you know, for whatever reason we leave, Right. So just as an example, Amitziko, you know, amazing accomplishment, which we should all be proud of. Of course, no doubt on but that. But many if you really reflect on it, Amit Singh and New York, ma, with his connections, with his network, mm. has probably been able to make a lot of changes that Nepal may be, maybe, right? Think about it, right? I mean, U.S. Yeah. context, but Nepal lai not I mean, when you think about that global context, right? So I think that, uh, you know, whatever, again, life choices, we come, like, we stay outside Nepal and, you know, we uh, make our lives here. But, uh, the pinch by you. The pinch by you. And pinch by you. Know, that guilt factor should be. So, what you're saying is, I don't want to say of course, of course, that is true. And, you know, we have that pull, right? Of, uh, yeah. You know, especially we, we actually had to do a, we actually did a whole Zoom session on this. This, this uh, we call it the Oileko uh, midlife crisis. Mm. Mm. The, you know, middle generation midlife crisis with, you know, aging parents and this pull, right? Mm. I know, And exactly. you feel, right? Yeah. But, uh, you know, the, the, that guilt and all of that and, you know, managing that is there. But how do we, uh, you know, I could be here or wherever else uh, I'm in and actually open up access, open up my network, open up information, which would be the best thing for Nepal. Okay? I would probably, you know, I'm not sure more Nepal may go up any exactly same thing on a sock this right? So in terms of that connecting the dots, yeah. mm. it's not just, you know, our, you know, I say it's like our, in terms of the great Nepali diaspora, Step one is connecting the diaspora and connect. Uh, step two is connecting everybody, you know, Nepal Mapani, right? So instead of treating us versus them, mm-hmm. right, uh, whatever reason. Work right? together, coexist, work, work together. Exactly, yeah. right? And there's so much that we can accomplish together. Yeah. Uh, you know what would be more fantastic for me? I have yes. no point of view. Matter yes. of, yeah, I can throw in my opinions. I can throw in anybody else's opinion. Right? Malayne, personally, if this works out and next time I come, help me connect uh, with a lot of other friends. Right? Of Skill set, I am going to be able to do this. I am going to be able to do this. I am going to be able to do this. I am going to be able to do this. I am going to be able to do this. I am going to be able to do this. I am going to be able to do this. I am going to be able to do this. I am going to be able to do this. I am going to be able to do this. I am going to be able to do this. I am going to be able to do this. I am going to be able to do this. I am going to be able to do this. I am going to be able to do this. I so, if that can work out, and probably if you can help me out as well, I'd be more than happy to go ahead and spread the word in oh. the coming in the no, coming no, years. I love that. Actually, just uh, as an example, again, we were talking about mentors that are not visible. Right? Uh-huh. 
We actually who are need, listening right now, eh, by the way. Yes, yes, yes. And we need to be out there, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, no, so, Hamli, uh, one of the things, Amro uh, Diaspora Matse, we have these hubs, Mansirku interest level on us, whether it's PhD, entrepreneurs, data mm-hmm. science, and so on. So, Entrepreneurs Hub, we ran this virtual incubator, uh, 12 week ago, on Nepali founders that are based around the world, right? And we were able to get like incredible Nepali uh, mentors that are, again, not. Uh, not really in the media, who've raised $100, $150 million. Insane, like, accomplishments, Mm, right? mm, mm. And they stepped in that safe zone. They, you know, they were amazing mentors. You know, we were able to get incredible uh, investors as well. But uh, that's just, you know, step one, right? Mm -hmm. How do we scale this? Everything we do, Amitsi, me, or or any other Nepali Sustainable or scalable? Yeah, Mm. exactly. Mm-hmm. Right, that, that, is that what you're trying to come towards? Sustainable yeah. and scalable, scalable at the end of, of the day. Right? So, steam, my liki realized that soon, that here is a poise of zero matter. Of course. To be clear, the key got near a bonus exactly. example, Biapar gone a sikai when you will never have to give that person money ever again. Of course. Mm-hmm. And so, I'm sure that's what you're trying to right. do. Right, exactly. I kind of had this right. very yeah. similar conversation with somebody <laughs> else. I know that we both know. Right. right? Uh, how can um, how can people who are listening right now? You know, I listen to them. You know, the website size. I will share the link. We'll share a lot of things. How can people get in touch? Take them briefly if you can share. Um, sure. I mean, our primary channel is LinkedIn. But uh, I'm pretty responsive on you know by email or through the website and so on. And I'm actually coming to Nepal in July. So oh, you know, my, uh, they have five hours. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, so five hours in uh, the Nepali studio. <laughs> oh, yeah. Of course, I'd love that. As a good thing, obviously, you're a good thing. I realized that you're a good thing. I'm on a global start. I'm on America. I got time. 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 Yeah, time is a lot of time. I know, with at least, with at least, only plus my sort of some money got all I know. So, yeah, time me long to borrow Garo. So, next time when I plan, I know that both of you guys will help me out to make this bigger. Of course, definitely, definitely. Amita, right towards the end, anything specific you want to talk about with, especially with my listener base? Absolutely, you know, most of things pretty generally in conclusion, ma, not no matter where we live, either in Nepal or here. Incidentally, before I come and conclude, I said, I was in the expectation of the Nepal. Recently, I visited in March, I was in Nepal for family engagement activities. But I, besides my professional things, I also have a foundation called Open Foundation. And this open group is a business venture, but Open Foundation is we try to do some charitable activity in my Gauma, Nepal. The people expect this in courses over in America, they are Nepal, especially remote, I was mm. surprised even gown level up. When if you mm. live in America, the Tianza dollar falls on here. Okay? So, okay, one level has to not as uh, people have that perception, not only policy level or, or uh, <laughs> center level, but also sure. remote level. Like the only thing we can have from them just money, you know, they have a lot of money, then they can, mm. that's it. We don't want any any other further relationship. But as to I was shocked on that part, but. I think that's because of the awareness level of the policy level of Kura Ponyo. But again, it's not about just the uh, remittance of Kura Matri Hineki. I mean, America was good, I spoke earlier to Bahira was good, but the uh, Nepali people can or Nepal can get so much, uh, uh, you know, uh, brain drain of Kura Naha mm-hmm. Kuhinan. There's a policy level, ma, foreign ministry, they kill it, and are in co issue her ma. A lot of times this has been discussed, get her properly channelized, no border. Uh, skill set or beside the immigrants money matter ko ba- ko kura ni, so many hamro diaspora ko jun resources tyo chai properly utilize bhako mm. especially in technical uh, uh, progressively mm-hmm. jun jaan chai AI ko kura gara, also, so many rapidly grows in technology ma. we not using uh, properly ke oda kura and tyo kura aile mali recently bakar I've been fortunate to be part of the one of the old ke largest economic uh, e-commerce forum which happened in Istanbul ma 10th and 10th Senators, ten to ten hundred thousand people were there. Five hundred sixty-four speakers. There was like four hundred plus booth at e-commerce co worldwide ecosystem mm-hmm. going on. But I learned there like mm-hmm. how technology in this t- time of the world, during mm-hmm. AI yeah, co involvement by data, how technology mm-hmm. growing so fast and digital revolution taking over the not only old co economic ecosystem but different way about mm-hmm. okay? And two platform like our Timur Kura Mao Dakiri. The digital uh, revolution ko yugma technology ko even we can uh, connect and try to 
invest more asset on that and connect mm-hmm. the diaspora exactly. to Nepal ko scenario ma there is so many change can happen mm-hmm. and one thing very small suru bate bhanu na jasai timro abhi this you have been so popular in your broadcast in Nepal i feel like even pratish ji that's the one reason when you said mm-hmm. i want to talk with some couple in people first person name came on her because she been doing so much people to not only mobilize and provide the mm-hmm. network for diaspora professional but mm-hmm. also when she started broadcast i was like that's the things we need to hear more and more story hidden people are going to come out so future ma you may even think about have your more often officer or, you know, <laughs> i don't know about sure. that <laughs> we are more than happy to mobilize our resources our plan is very good and this brings more of the uh, other hidden people or go story which can might change the perception of the policy level the grassroots level when the both part ma अभी ओवरअल लिस्नर को लगी मत भो हम अमेरिका को प्रसिद्ध भो हमी चाहे जहाँ भाई जुन देश में जहाँ बसे इज इवेन्चुअली वी आर नेपाली वी हेव दैट्स रूट कल्चर नो मैटर वेर आई एम फ्रॉम यू नो विच पार्ट अफ द कंट्री बट आई अलवेज सुड किप मै रिमेम्बर मै रूट कल्चर एंड ट्राई आवर बेस्ट टू ट्रांसफर आवर आवर कल्चर आइडेन्टिटी टू आवर नेक्स्ट जेनेसन आवर आवर जेनेसन दैट्स वन थिंग सेकेंडली सस्टेनेबिलिटी को गए इकोनोमिक इंपावर इज वन अफ द मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट थिंग्स वेन वी आर कम्युनिटी डाइसपोरा इज ग्रोइंग इफ वी इकोनोमिकली इंपावर डाइसपोरा दैन दे कैन डू सो मच थिंग्स टू बैक इन दाल थिंक अबाउट द हाउ एनआरआई इन इंडिया आर लाइक रिसेंटली ब्रॉड इनिशियली टाइम इस हाउ यू सी द मोदी को भिजिट को टाइम्स इस रिफ्लेक्शन इट्स डजन हेपन ओवर नाइट बिकज मो भी मो इंडियन प्राइम मिनिस्टर डजन गेट दिस रेड कार्ड पे ट्रिटमेंट दैन any most uh, old famous leaders also. can be uh, right. exactly. expect you know the, the reason why he getting that uh, uh, you know acceptable treatment in the uh, here because of the diaspora indian diaspora is exactly. so strong so powerful and they have so unitedly have their presence in different sector of different level of the hamro samay nai auncha ha auncha ani ma euta sari hale tei bhara tyo economic mala dekhe empowered ko case ma chai hamile yi pani we need to uh, collectively engage our society like even in dallas ma there is so many millions in nepal here but still there is story or their mentorship is not it, it, the it's coming out emerging bakare it came out in the podcast right. exactly so <laughs> these need to be connected and one thing i had i started on that perspective like as my engagement is uh, in the, with the greater new york chamber of commerce where i started as my intern when i doing my mba but now i passionately mm. m- dedicating more work there because from there i can uh provide a lot of the resources to the our community to economic empower empower our community and if we be strong then we can be no a, doubt on that much better we'll carry on this conversation back home uh, yes uh, <laughs> right at the end what were you sure. saying no i just wanted to just add something so Please. um last week say i was in uh, dc uh, mm. so state department may and we uh, got to uh, collaborate on an event and yeah. so um, US ambassador to Nepal um, Dean Thompson uh one song I I got to take about 10 people from our diaspora yeah. you know very uh, amazing meeting back mm-hmm. and when when we were coming out they were yeah. uh, visit ko lagi they had US and India flags and so on right and just like you said right I was like okay this is baby steps I now I'm able to take 10 people from my diaspora to the state department of same course. and so on You know, I'm not going to deny so where we will have, answer. you know, yeah. Nepal flag and so yeah. on. We just answer. need to, you know, work towards it. And so we, uh, this is a step as well. And we'll talk, we'll carry on this conversation uh, back home or probably next time when I come. Absolutely. All right. Pleasure. Thank you so much for your time. I know it's not like this. I know it's not Thank you very much for making this happen right here in New York. And uh, it's such a pleasure knowing you. Likewise. And we will be friends for a long, long time. Thank you to you for <laughs> traveling <laughs> all the way and exactly. making a... historical star from the right here this is a start i want other sanjeev to do this i know i want everybody and bhai bani haru didi dai haru jo jo hununcha you're doing it and i want everybody everybody moms and dads to do this too i want everybody to start a podcast talk about things express yourself yeah and and that's the most important thing i believe that's what you're saying absolutely thank you very much new york first episode this is fun thank you so much thank you thank you This program is brought to you by Via Studios.